So hello everybody. Uh, what I'm going to do today is something I haven't done in a long time. Okay, is shoot Polaroid. Now I have two more boxes left, and I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, the FP100C. I have two boxes of this left. As you know, it's been discontinued. It's getting very expensive. I only have two of these. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go around and I'm going to shoot this whole box. Okay. Now I'm used to shooting black and white, uh, but I'm going to shoot this color and hopefully I get some good shots. I'm used to looking for shapes, shadows, reflections, and texture uh, uh, when it comes to black and white. But today, I'm gonna to be looking for some bright colors and see if we can get this working right, okay? What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Polaroid 330 land camera, okay? Um, if you're familiar with these, that's great. If not, I'll walk you through uh, the process. Sorry, there's a lot of traffic here today. I came to uh, downtown Lebanon. Hopefully there's something here to, to shoot. Uh, yeah, like I said, I gotta go for colors today. So, ah, big trucks. So let's get right to it. I'm going to load this film in and I'm going to take you on a little bit of journey through downtown, okay? Okay, so, yeah, I didn't bring my uh, Gorilla Pod, the Gorilla Pod with, so um, I'm actually using my Manfrotto Elements tripod here to try to hold you up here. So, I actually did see a nice mural on the wall over here that actually has some color to it. Uh, we're on an overcast day, very overcast. Um, I think they're expecting rain later and stuff, so... I'm going to go ahead and, and take this shot here and bring you along for it and then show you the results when it comes out, okay? Let's, let's, let's go look at it real quick. Now, like I said, I have uh, the FP100C, and so it's color, so this should actually pop out really nice. But uh, it's been a long time since I shot this, so I'm going to have to adjust the light and dark on the first few shots to make sure I get it right. For the next one so the first few might actually be throwaways but we'll find out okay let's go look at it that's cool Hi. yeah i'm, I'm shooting all polaroids <laughs> so there's a, a backing i'm doing a video so I'm sorry <laughs> so there's a backing here that uh -huh. tells you the amount of time that it takes so it's approximately 75 degrees out today and uh, it says 90 seconds. It's already been about 45, so another 45 seconds, I'm gonna peel this off and let you see what it looks like. Uh, it should be interesting. It's the first time I've done this in I about a year. I haven't seen one of those okay. cameras in neons. <laughs> the Polaroid land camera was an iconic camera. So it's been about 90 seconds, so let's just see. Let's just see what we have here. There you go. Pretty good. Now that, I would call a success. That is very good. So let's just run around Lebanon here and see if we can find any more color shots to take, okay? Hang in there, guys. A great first shot. Um, it's interesting because this lady stopped me and she, we were talking as I was filming earlier. You might have heard her in the background there. And uh, she said how they threw everything away after they, they finished taking them. I explained that you could save them as negatives. Um, this is a great first shot. I didn't put it to lighter or darker, I put it right in the middle, uh, and I got exactly what I wanted out of this shot. Uh, this makes me super pumped to keep going. Um, like I said, it's completely overcast, and this is going to be, uh, it should be, a very fruitful day. So let's go downtown and see what else we can find. Just took my fourth shot at Wurtz Candies. So let's see how this one turns out, shall we? That's going to look a whole lot better once I get it on the computer and you'll see it's, it looks a whole lot better than it does right now. Uh, this camera is absolutely amazing. You know, quality of the photos are great. Some other company needs to pick up this film and start doing it because we really need this back. Well, 
I'm finished with downtown. Um, unfortunately, there's not too much to take pictures of downtown Lebanon. I'm still in Lebanon, but I'm out at the mall. I'm going to do something that I've never done before, and I'm going to shoot this indoors. <clears throat> and I don't even know what their policy is, if they'll let me do it or if they'll kick me out when they see me or what they're going to do. But uh, let's go in and check out anyway, because there's also an antique shop in there I'd like to check out. I got a, a, an old Kodak from there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go inside and uh, let's see what happens, okay? So that was the one shot that I took here. Um, like I said, I put it uh, pretty light on the camera, and uh, as you saw, it's not that it's not that light. Uh, I don't shoot it in the inside that often, so uh, that's probably what happened there. I did pick up the teleconverter. Um, <clears throat> she said 40, I got it for 30, actually 33. Uh, so that'll, that'll be nice to use. You know, it should be interesting to use actually. So. I'm about to head out to my truck right now. Hopefully we can stop along the way and get some outdoor shots here. Uh, just hang in there, we're about to get there, okay? Yeah, you got it. As you can see, it was cut short by a little bit of rain. Uh, actually a lot of rain. We've been getting a lot of rain here lately. So I did stop at the store on the way back um, But let's go up to my office and I'll explain to you uh, the things that I've done and what I have left If I have any left, I took them or whatever. Let's go up to my office and I'll finish it right there. Okay? See you there Okay, so here I am back up in my office and um, Like I said, I finished shooting the whole pack which is ten shots and um but I only put up nine, okay? And the reason for that, let me just explain this real quick. The reason for that is because when I went in front of the farmer's market at the front doors, um, there was this older gentleman with a little child, which I would only assume that it was his grandson. And uh, the little child had a bicycle with training wheels, and he had his cute little helmet on, and uh, he was putting a chain around his bike, that cute little bike on the pole, you know, and uh, I thought that was a cute moment, and I asked the gentleman if I could take their picture uh, with this Polaroid, and that he can take it with him, you know what I mean? Uh, I just thought that it was a good way to have a conversation. We actually did about the, the camera and stuff, a good way to have a conversation and, and give them a memento of their day together, so uh, it's a win-win. It's always nice to connect with people, and that was nice. So, anyway, Coming back into the camera here itself, this is a little gem. I love this camera and I hate the fact that the film is discontinued. I really, really hate that fact. I have one box left, which is 10 more shots. And so now I have a choice to make. Okay, when you get down to your last box, in my opinion, you have a choice to make. Do you shoot that box and then hang on to the camera forever or do you sell the camera? Okay which is unless you want to spend forty to fifty dollars for ten more shots okay or do you take that last box combine it with this camera and sell it as a couple so that's up in the air for me if I want to sell this or not um, if I should do that or not it's it's up in the air um, but anyway but that's just a, a side note on, on the back end of that with the, uh, the film, the disappointing film thing. But what I, I, I do recall that I forgot to show you when I loaded this camera. So I'm going to show you how I unload it, okay, which is kind of reversal of, of the loading, you know, except for I can't show you the paper anymore, okay, which is an important part. Okay, so on the bottom of this camera, as you saw, I folded it in, okay, and, and it's simply a compression, you know what I mean, and you fold it down. On the bottom of this camera, you have this little catch, okay? So you hit this catch, and I'm going to show you the back pop up. Box. See how the back pops up? So then you take the, you, you pull the hinge open, and here's your film. See, my case is empty, you know what I mean? And I can just lift that out of there. And that's the exposed side that will be exposed to your image and your subject. And then, now these rollers here, Okay, if you're not familiar with these, you want to make sure that they're clean so that the next time you use it, uh, there's no buildup of chemicals 
so that when you pull your photo through it, you know what I mean, it's a smooth transition. So that's just, just as a side note, you want to keep an eye on that. And you simply just close it, you know. Um, and the bottom is, is it goes, it clicks right onto the bottom here, you know. And then I put it away. And this is the box I have for it too. So, so I have the box and the paperwork in there. So these are the photos that I took. Okay, I have all nine of them here. However, I only showed you seven. Okay, and it's because of this debacle. <laughs> I'll just call it a debacle. Okay, um, what happened was I stopped at the store on the way home, and I figured, well, let me get a shot of the store. That'll be one more shot to show you guys. I forgot to adjust my camera, and it's totally, totally dark, and you can't really see it. So I was like, you know what, let me adjust the camera. I got two more shots, let me get this right. So I adjusted it, and it was still too dark. I was like, you're kidding me. One shot left, I got to get it right. And that was the last photo that you saw on, uh, just a while ago. And I finally got it right, you know, and unfortunately I lost two photos, uh, three, because I gave one away, but that's okay, that's a little bit of PR, you know what I mean? And uh, so that's why there's only seven on there, you know, instead of the full ten, okay? Now, um, it is unfortunate about the film, you know, and it's just one of the things that makes you fall out of trust, you know, uh, for filmmakers, especially Fuji, uh, because they stopped that film and then they stopped my ultimate favorite, which is the A Cross 100. Okay, so enough said about that. We all have our issues. <laughs> that's one of mine to deal with and to find uh, uh, something a little bit more stable, something that's going to stay within the film community um, and it's not going anywhere. Okay, be it your Kodaks or your Ilfords. Okay, they're not going anywhere. Going anywhere. So, Anyway, so I'm going to close here. I thank you for showing up and uh, going on this little thing with me. Uh, hopefully you can get out there you have an opportunity to shoot this film. Uh, it's great. I love the whole polling action of it and, and, and to feel the photo action. You can almost feel it being made. I love that. You know, and uh, it's, it's just wonderful. So get out there and shoot it. Uh, Polaroid did come back. They have the instant camera film out there. You know, that's always a go. And that's not uh, extremely expensive the way this stuff is becoming. Uh, so I would say if you're a diehard and you want this, do it. Get it. Do it. Um, it's going to cost you, but do it. Uh, other than that, I would say uh, go for original Polaroid. You know, and, and get out there and get some instant shots. Uh, you don't have to worry about sending it out to a lab. You don't have to worry about uh, developing it yourself and, and scanning yourself or anything like that. It just boom, it automatically appears. And it's always a crowd favorite. You always get uh, opinions and, and people's thoughts and, and stuff like that. So, And you hear other people's stories, which is a good thing. So, yeah, thanks for coming along. Uh, those were my seven shots. <laughs> you have yourself a good day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, see you next time.